Before start this video, please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon. Thanks. Having been around since 2019, the Scala and Kamek are due for a mid-cycle update. Skoda will be unveiling the mildly revised hatchback and crossover in two weeks' time by hosting a double premiere on August 1st. Meanwhile, several teasers give us an idea of what to expect from the facelift cars. Both are getting slimmer headlights with a new look, redesigned bumpers, fresh wool designs, and the latest corporate font for the tailgate lettering. We are not expecting any major changes on the inside where Skoda Skoda is likely going to make subtle changes to echo the latest Fabia Super Mini. Perhaps we'll be given a sneak preview of the revised cabins until the world premiere at the beginning of next month. Underneath the hood, expect the familiar 3-cylinder 1.0 TSI and 4-cylinder 1. 5 TSI engines hooked up to a 6-speed manual or a 7-speed, dual-clutch automatic transmission. ITL will be interesting to see whether the TDI will remain in the lineup seeing as how automakers active in the European Union markets are moving away from small cars with diesel engines. The Kamek was Skoda's second best-selling car after the Octavia, in 2022 during which 96, 300 units were delivered to customers. However, this number also takes into consideration the slightly different Kamek manufactured and sold in China by the local SICVW joint venture. As for the Scala, the five-door hatch was far less popular, with the Czech automakers selling 39, 500 examples of its Volkswagen Golf's internal rival. Skoda has been keeping busy throughout 2023 by giving the Enyaq electric SUV a range-topping Lauren Clement version and by teasing no fewer than six EVs all due to hit the market by 2026. Meanwhile, the next-generation Kodiak and Superb will be unveiled at separate events this fall. In 2024, the Octavia will undergo a facelift, while the release of a new Fabia Combi has been abandoned due to stricter emissions regulations. To boost its global exposure, the Mlada Bolslav brand is entering the Vietnamese market by collaborating with Tan Tsong Motor Vietnam, TC Motor. In the first phase, cars are imported from Europe, but from next year, the local assembly of the Slavia Hatch and Kushak crossover will start at the factory in the Quang Nin province by using completely knocked down CKD kits. Thanks for watching my video. Credits to motor1.com. Please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.